Looking to trade your old bulk for some of the latest Pokemon booster boxes? Well, check ccgcastle.com. The process is very simple. Send in 1400 cards and get a brand new sealed booster box back. We ship boxes worldwide for free once we get your cards. Make sure to check video description or check ccgcastle.com for more information. How's it going Poké fans? Once again, welcome back to Pokémon TCG Center. In today's video, I'm gonna play with something very new and very interesting. Um, in today's video, we'll be looking at the deck from the standard format. Um, this is basically my innovation, Wild Plume featuring Garbodor and Wobbuffet. If you watch my channel for a longer time, you should probably know that I also play Wild Plume West Queen Wobbuffet deck. Um, that was after the after the that was after the rotation, after we lose battle compressors, and I also played without a single shaming. And deck was pretty cool and it worked pretty well. Um, for today's video, I try to uh, I will try to do my best to show you this deck list because I think it, it has a lot of potential, especially if you came to the big tournament with something like this. Probably a lot of players will not be prepared to uh, beat this deck. So the main strategy is to set up as fast as you can your wild plume in play with irritating pollen. So none of the players can play item cards. And with the irritating pollen, you're just gonna force your opponent probably to just discard it with the sycamore his entire hand and try to find the resources he really needs to set up his play. And by doing that, he's probably gonna discard uh, a lot of item cards. And for each item card in your opponent discard pile, Garbodor will just hit for like 20 with the trash Lange. So being able to strike for 20 for each item card in your opponent discard pile will just be a nightmare. Um, probably it's gonna be a little bit harder against those Metagross decks, especially if he if Metagross decks manage to set up. But again, on the other side against Metagross decks, we have two Wobbuffets with the Bite Barricade, so we can just prevent them from being able to use abilities until we have enough resources for the one hit knockout. Remember, you're gonna need like 14 item cards in your opponent disco pile to go for like 200 and uh, actually, yeah, 14, 280 minus 20, 260, because if you have 13, that's like 260 minus 20, 240, so not enough for the knockout. Uh, but that's it. There's also one Oricorio with that supernatural dance that can definitely take a huge advantage against West Pekin Zorark decks. And the uh, 2-2 line of the Wilder Plume with Irritating Pollen, three copies of Shaman for the setup. Uh, they can easily be also substitute with one Ninja Boy, so one of these Shamans can easily be substitute. And two Top of Elegy Axes with the Wonder Tag, Energy Drive, and Top of Cure, they can also be used as the attackers. Four copies of Trubbish with the Acid Spray. I really like this because you can also stall a little bit with the Acid Spray, hitting for like 10 and discarding your opponent Active Energy card. That can also be very huge and very devastating for your opponent, as well as four copies of Garbodor with the uh, Trash Lunch as our main attacker, and two copies of Wobbuffets with the Bite Barricade. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, each player, each Pokemon in play, in each player discard pile, hand, and uh, whatever will not have abilities. So that's what that was pretty much all from the Pokemon's 22 Pokemon's, as you can see right here. Um, then I'm moving on to the um, item cards. So what I'm running from the item cards, I'm running two copies of Level Ball, uh, search a deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less, reveal and put in your hand, shuffle your deck afterward, um, and uh, as well four copies of Ultra Balls. Those two cards are mainly here um, that, that can help you to set up pretty fast with the Level Ball, you can grab Adish and Glam, with the Ultra Ball you can also grab just Wild Plume, but the good thing is that if you can discard those Pokemons, you can just easily, easily recover them with either way Revital Laser and Rescue Stretcher. So both of these cards will just work perfectly fine. Um, especially if you have those uh, Grass Pokemons in your Disco Pile, you can just pick two of them with the Revital Laser and put them into your hand. And I really like that, even if your opponent is capable to go for the one hit knockout against Wild Plume to get rid of the item lock, you can always easily super fast recover it another Revital Laser Rescue Stretcher play and uh, put in just a single turn that Wild Plume completely from Disco Pile onto the bench with the Floatstone because this deck also runs four copies of Floatstones. And for Ultra Balls, as I mentioned, and of course, Stadium Decision is four copies of Forest of John Plants where each player grass, evolution, grass Pokemon will be able to evolve on the turn one uh, without too many problems. 
So Portal Line, two copies of Lysanders, four copies of N, one copy of Ninja Boy uh, for that Shaman swap or maybe any other Pokemon basic swap into the any other Pokemon that you can see on this deck list. Um, four copies of Professor Sycamores. There is also one Skyla, just optional um, because I really like it and it's pretty super cool. Um, four copies of, of Float Stones, so the Pokemon with the Float Stone will have for retreat. That's it. Only uh, two cards in this deck and eight basic Psychic Energies. As you can see, you don't have option to recover your um, energies. So if you really want to have option to recover your energies, there's a few different options. You can always remove one copy of Rescue Stretcher and you can pretty much take one copy of Super Oat, then you have option to recover um, your Pokemons from Disco Pile and basic energies. But trust me, there was no... Um, when I played this deck, when I played in a lot of matchups, there was no need to recover my energies because um, Garbodor just requires one energy. If you really want to attack with Wobbuffet or Tapalil, you can always have two energies, but also Recordable just require one energy. So trust me, with one energy, uh, with eight energies, you're just gonna be fine for the whole game. But even uh, better than Super Road, you can maybe even tax Brock's Grid, which is a supporter card, which will allow you to maybe even shuffle up to six in combination Pokemon and basic energies. So that might also help you from not uh, being um, decked out. But overall, I really like the deck. I think it's a pretty interesting idea and how it how it's gonna be very good against a current um, meta decks in the standard format. If you're looking for any of these cards, of course, you know where you can find them on ccgcastle.com. This is Center 5 code for the first 5% uh, purchase on your first purchase. Oh, looks like I actually screwed that. Um, TCG Center 5 code will allow you to get 5% discount on your first purchase. That's it. Uh, also, if you're looking to trade your bulk for the upcoming uh, Sun and Moon Tree Booster Box or maybe a Guardian Raising, Sun and Moon Base um, Evolution, you can definitely do that. It's available for the worldwide. You can definitely check my video description. And yeah, that's it. So right now I'm just going to play a game so you can see this deck in action. Uh, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like this idea. Also let me know in the comments below what you think about it because I think it's pretty cool. So move on to the game test. See you in the game. Okay, so let's call the heads as usual. Unfortunately, uh, my opponent can go first because I lost the coin flip. And even worse thing for me is that I'm going to start with my Shaman Oh, that's, that's, that's like a nightmare. But really... Um, all right, so let's take a look at the other side, one Cosmog, so probably Solgaleo GX with something. A first item card in my opponent this compile, and it's the Trainer's Mail, so 20 damage counters. Let's see how many item cards he can discard. I think Solgaleo actually have minus 20 resistance on the... Minus 20 on Psyhix, which means that I will need like 13, actually 14 item cards in his discard pile for the one hit now. Ooh, even worse against this. Oh yeah, okay, interesting. So many energies, so many energy cards. Let's go with one Ultra Ball. And that Ultra Ball should be for the first Topol LGX. No question about that. Um, with my Tapolela GX, I'm just gonna grab something like a N. I can even go with the Skyla, but I really need that drop support. One energy can be attached, as well as one copy of N can be played. For now, I'm just not looking forward, you know, to move my Shaman, because he can stay in the front, at least for now. Next turn, I'm gonna just try to swap my Shaman with the Ninja Boy into something like Arish. Then I can try with the Ultra Ball to grab maybe even possibly another Shaman for that Wild Plume Lock. Everything is possible with his hand right now. I have Ninja Boy available. Oh, there we go with the Bridget. But I simply don't see too many items. Oh, he played Skyla over Bridget, probably for the rare candy for the Solgaleo, or maybe for the rare candy uh, for the um, Ultra Ball. He probably have rare candy available in his hand. 
and he really wants to get that um, Metagross in play as fast as he can because he's probably going to rely on the Metagross and there we go there is the first Metagross with uh, Ultra Ball for my opponent and there we go with the Rare Candy so how many item cards right now he have um, Nest Ball, Trainer's Mail, Ultra Ball and one Rare Candy that's like four item cards okay so Algorithm GX he can search his, uh, he can search his deck for like five cards and put them into his hand unfortunately I don't have the card I would like to have I don't have that and available so I can just end him but the game plan right here right now it's definitely gonna be to you know try somehow maybe even to disrupt that metal energy that he have attached down to his metagross um, for that move I'm gonna need to trubbish with the energy card And to be honest, I'm definitely looking forward to do that, this will, especially if I can just um, item lock my opponent. So let's see what we can do here with that ninja boy. Of course, we can swap our shaman into our Oddish. <sighs> okay, I hope I can pull all I really need here. Let's see, Ultra Ball. For another Shaman EX. Right now I can set up for six new cards. I need Glum, I need Wild Plume, that's for sure. I didn't I didn't find any of these cards. Any of these cards I didn't find. So this is definitely very sad. It's a very sad situation. I don't even have my Wobbuffet available, so at least I can try maybe, you know, to do something here with the Wobbuffet. Um, I'm just looking forward to pass my turn back to my opponent. This is very bad. Very, very ugly. I mean, the lack of the Trainer's Mail is definitely um, here. You can see it as well. I'm not running a single Trainer's Mail, so that's definitely very bad for the consistency. Uh, but at least, if he wants, you know, if he wants to try attack with his attack and, uh, you know, just simply strike me for like 150 with the Giga Hammer, he can always do that, but next turn he can't use Giga Hammer and that's the reason why he definitely wants to have Solgaleo GX in play. This is the deck that I actually built like uh, two months ago or maybe even three months ago. When the set was actually first time released, I immediately hurry up and play Metagross um, Solgaleo because it was so good back then all right so with the hand with the energy from his hand and with the um, one uh, Geotech system he can definitely have that knockout if he wants and he used Hala so with the Hala he can just grab seven cards because he already played that GX attack and so far my opponent have very nice board i really cannot say nothing against it but he also have one two three four five six item cards in his discard pile that's 120 minus 20 for the resistance is going to be 100 damage counters striking for 100 not too much but still it's a decent damage output of course i'm just gonna grab my um, rescue stretcher for my uh, Garbador, I'm also thinking maybe it's even better to shuffle just one Trubbish and two Garbadors back into my deck with the Rescue Stretcher and then just go with the Sycamore for seven. This is another Ultra Ball and another item discard, so right now he have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, well, eight item cards, 160. Okay, so far so good, I'm definitely happy to see that. Ooh, that's very nice top deck, but I really cannot play another Shaman on my bench. I mean, actually, I can Skyla for Ultra Ball. It's too risky. Two EXs. 
It might be risky. I already played my Ninja Boy, so I really don't want to have that shaming on the bench. Let's just go with the Sycamore for 7. Uh, still missing that Glam. No way. If there was just the Glam, that would be it. Apply some pressure, not to apply some pressure, apply some pressure, not to apply some pressure. Take the risk, moving on to my Wobbuffet or not. Um, well, I'm gonna risk with my Wobbuffet in the front, to be honest. Just simply because he might not be able to um, switch his Solgaleo in the front. So he might just decide to um, play another Metagross and uh, play some more item cards. Um, I really want to have more and more damage counters in the Discord pile so I can have one hit knocker with my Garbodor. That's the strategy of this deck. And I actually buy one turn here, which is pretty cool. And what I can do right now is finally I can play my Ultra Ball and finally I can set up that... Um, Wileplum may be on this turn, uh, we shall see. So let's just play that Sycamore for seven. Right now I'm just missing a Forest of John plants and basically Wileplum, so I can have also that. Oh, finally, finally. Let's go first with the level ball. I'm gonna grab just one Trabish if I'm gonna need it. Garbador should be in play. I'm not gonna attach energy, at least not now. Uh, put a Pokemon from Discord pile into your hand. So let's go with the Wild Plume. And there we go. So I finally have that item lock available, but more than that. Let's actually attach energy and strike with the Trash Lange. So this is the 160 damage counters with the Trash Lange. And it's not enough for the one hit knockout, that is for sure. But still, 160, next turn another Garbodor can just finish the job. But meanwhile, uh, my opponent can definitely retreat into the another Metagross uh, with the full HP, but he can't use the advantage of item cards, at least that's something. It took me too long, it definitely took me too long to set up my... Uh. Definitely took too much to set up my Wild Plume in play. I think this is like turn 7 or 8 or something like that, and I still um, didn't, almost didn't do nothing. So, Gear Attack System, two energies. That's like 60 right now. I wish he had one more item card in his Discord pile so I can go for like 180, but uh, he don't have. At least, I can go with the N. Okay, there is a Lysander available, which means next turn I can Lysander and knocks out one of his Metagrosses. Oh, he actually have nine item cards. I completely forget about minus 20 resistance. So there we go, Forest of John Plants and Psychic Energy. So I'm definitely in a huge, huge, huge advantage right now. That's for sure. Um, he can definitely strike me for like 230 here. Not a problem, but... Next turn, after I Lysander and knocks out his Metagross, well, he will definitely be in a huge disadvantage. Losing his Metagross means that he can't power up and one hit knock out any of my Pokemons. So Sun Steel Strike for the knockout, 230. We are going back to my turn. I'm gonna promote my Wobbuffet in play. Just because when I have Wobbuffet in play, I can also play my item cards. So one energy goes down to my Trabish, just in case. Lysander play down to his Metagross. I'm retreating back to my Garbodor. And with my Garbodor, I have enough with the Trash Lunge for the one hit knockout right now. It's the double, double hit knockout, but still. In this case, one hit knocker against his Metagross, and he decided to concede the game. 
probably realizing that he can't do anything else without being able to play item cards and with too many uh, item cards in his disco pile he definitely wouldn't be able to recover that easily uh, where on the other side it just goes down to two price cards and I would just immediately took the knockout against his Ogolo. So there we go once again. This is a very unique deck list that I used to play in today's video. Uh, maybe the only card that you should probably think about taking inside should be maybe a field blower just in case situational that you, you just want to discard your opponent um, tool cards. Uh, but as you can see I didn't play a single one and overall I really like the deck list and the deck idea. It's definitely a pretty cool uh, and it can definitely be very devastating um, for every player around that uh, relies on the item cards, especially if you can set up turn one while a plume in play. But as you can see, I struggle to set up my while a plume until like turn seven or eight, but still, even after that, um, that was pretty much it. My opponent was not able to recover from the uh, Metagross loss. Um, so once again, if you're looking for any of these cards, make sure to check ccgcastle.com. Link is provided in my video description, so everything you need to know uh, can be found there. Um, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to leave comments below. Um, let me know also what you think about this deck list. And that's pretty much it for today's video. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Um, till the next time, have a nice day and uh, goodbye.